Hey guys, the Powered RC here today, and I just wanted to do a quick video, hopefully, and show you how to update your Night Timber X or your Ultramet 3D, or any of the planes that already came with an Avion uh, Smart Speed Controller in it. You're gonna have to disconnect the main servo or the re uh, Speed Controller lead from your receiver. So I had to open her up. I disconnected it from there but what I did so I don't have to feed it down through the hole to the front end I just plugged in a servo extension male to a female so I was able to plug that lead into my program box and I know the colors are going to be off you can't really tell but all it says is connecting to PC and then of course your other lead on the speed controller plugs into your slot on the end of the speed control there so once you do that you just plug power to it uh, I did disconnect two of the motor leads just for safety I didn't want to have to take the prop off if you don't want to do this take your prop off for safety it shouldn't spin up but you never know so you connect to the software and um, I was going to show you that it was updated but actually mine's already updated so it says operated finish successfully. So I updated mine from the previous firmware that came on it stock well, when I got the plane over here on the firmware update. It was uh, 4.0, I think 10, and we updated it to 4.0.21. So now I'll be able to do the um, transmitter thing and so it um, adjusts everything I want to adjust in the radio. So uh, we'll take a look at that here in a second. Let me get all this put back together. Okay guys, so we're uh, we're back here with the uh, Night Timber X. I just updated the firmware in my controller, speed controller. And now we're going to go into the menu and see what we got. So you just scroll over. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it looks like you got to scroll over 14 times. It's almost the very last one. Um, the last one is actually the priority monitor, so it's one before that. So tell you down here how to get into the programming now. Now this menu will not pop up on a stock Night Timber X, a stock Ultimate 3D, or any of the planes that come by and fly with the AR637T or TA. Um, you have to go in and update your firmware for this menu to pop up. So what they're telling you to do is hold up elevator and left aileron. So we do that here. You can see I'm holding it. And then it should change and tell you to go a different direction. Um, also when you do this, make sure that you have uh, high rates turned on. And also another thing, I know why mine's not working. You have to have all your trims have to be in the center, or at least the trims that you're going to use this for. So uh, I actually have 26 down elevator and six Elron, as you can see. I'm trying to get that glare off here for you. Sorry about that. Um, so we'll put that in the neutral. Put that in neutral, and we'll. Scroll back over, and now I see we ought to hold it. See, I'm holding it. Up elevator, left aileron. <laughs> it's supposed to work. Uh, one second, let me check something. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I forgot another important thing when you're doing this. You hear the plane just booted up? Well, we have to do this within the first 30 seconds of turning the airplane on. 
you hold it for uh, it says ten, five to ten seconds. So now it says up elevator right Elron. So we go right and up again. And now we're in the menus. I'm gonna try to get this where y'all can see it very good. So we got flight mode, uh, fixed wing, brake disabled, brake force, cut off voltage, and you want to move the uh, um, elevator down and you'll see over here that the arrow oops, sorry arrow is moving all right cut off type now you got surge uh then you move your right elbow to change it you got soft cut off hard cut off surge and i guess it was defaulted to surge now the next one is your lipo cell. You got auto calculator, uh, cutoff voltage. Um, they've got it set to 3.4 by default. B, C, 6 volts. Startup, time, soft. Timing, motor rotation, active uh, free will, uh, governor gain. That'd be for a helicopter. Um, AR time, that would be for Hell A2. And then thrust reverse, they've got it defaulted to uh, channel 7. And then uh, the last one is edit, exit with save. So uh, to do that, you would just hold, um, hold right again. I'm sorry, up and right. Right. Okay, so as you see, up and right, and it automatically rebooted the plane, and you're back here to the sort menu. So, guys, I hope this video helped. Sorry that it took me a second to remember what all you needed to do um, with it, but if you don't do this stuff every single day, you kind of forget. So, I got throttle hold on now. I turn it off and run up my stick. You'll see that uh, it is running in the correct direction. And then if I flip my switch, um, it should reverse it. Which is not actually. I have to check that. But yeah. Anyway, I mostly wanted to show you how to update the software and then uh, you just pick what channel you want it on uh, mine is on channel 7 so on your monitor screen make sure your channel 7 um, auxiliary is working the correct way you want to make sure you can have negative 100 positive 100 which I do so maybe with the update I just did I'm gonna have to go back in and change something else for the reverse to work but uh, one reason I did this was uh, I wanted to try something. If it works, I'll come back with another video and let you guys know. So, hope you hope you found this video helpful and uh, happy flying, everybody. Catch you on the next one.